big thing that textbooks have a hard time doing is to put information into context. And in science, I think that's really, really important for students. And they will, you know, they'll ask us often, well, you know, why are we learning this? And so with the, what I've seen with the, the case studies is that that's just, you know, that's the whole thing. It's, it's all about the context. Um, and the information only comes as part of that, as diagnosing a patient or treating a patient, those kinds of things. I think the, the emotional connection is important um, because I could show the students on the screen or they could look on their iPad and we could see an animation of osmosis or diffusion, and I've used those in the past, um, but uh, but students are, are going to be better able to remember something when they do connect to it. And so, you know, I heard students comment to, today about the calf is cute, or you know, they get interested in the, the patient in the diffusion case, and you know, is she a real person, and you know, what really happened to her. And, and so, I think those things do help. Just helps uh, connect it to you know some experience they've had or something they're more familiar with rather than just having an animation all by itself. Science education will, will never be complete without you know, hands-on experiences for the students where they actually manipulate, um, you know, in biology they manipulate you know, living organisms and uh, living systems and ecological systems. Um, so that always has to be there. But there are many things that we just, you know, for resources or for time or for safety, many things that we can't do. Um, and we can never take them, in the classroom, we can never take them inside of a, a cow's brain and let them see really what's happening. Um, and we, you know, can't necessarily take them down to the hospital so that they can work directly with patients. And so in those cases, uh, you know, this technological aspect really becomes important because it can give them experiences that we can't give them directly in the classroom. And so I think that the future of science education is, is blending those things, um, you know, having first-hand physical experiences that complement these technology-based experiences.